As a Vietnam War veteran, 65-year-old Les Boatwright has never taken freedom for granted. But when a stroke left him with limited mobility on his left side, he felt like he lost some of his personal freedom and independence. After the stroke and the mobility loss of my left leg, I was no longer able to do the very simple small tasks that normal people take for granted. I couldn't jump on my moped and leave the house, go downtown. I couldn't even go to the corner store to buy a newspaper. These are my diplomas. Like Les, Stephen Peace is also a veteran, a graduate of the Naval Academy. Stephen's military career has taken him around the world to places like Iraq, Afghanistan, and Japan. A few years ago, while home in California, he suffered a devastating stroke. Came home, had dinner, watched TV, no big deals. Um, got up to go to bed, got halfway around my couch, and it hit me, a stroke. And I, I didn't know what a stroke was. Stephen was only 32 years old when he had his stroke. Like Les, he experienced mobility issues following his stroke, but was determined to get moving again. Both men became hopeful when they heard about an FDA-cleared advanced rehabilitation system called the Nessel 300 that uses electrical stimulation to help patients walk again. I mentioned it to my therapist at the VA, and she said, well, that's a good idea. Let's see if we can pursue it. So with that being said, I sort of let it go. And don't you know, the VA came completely through and offered me the L300. Dr. Jerry Stengem, medical director at Sharp Rehabilitation Center in San Diego, has seen great success with the Ness L300. I've been able to prescribe the Ness L300 for quite a few of my patients. And they seem to like it because they're able to do away with their traditional rigid brace. And it does provide them with a more natural uh, walking ability. Offered by Bioness, the Ness L300 uses mild functional electrical stimulation for the treatment of foot drop, a condition that causes difficulty walking for people recovering from a stroke or suffering from other central nervous system conditions, such as spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, multiple sclerosis, or cerebral palsy. The Ness L300 is worn on the patient's leg and consists of three parts, a gait sensor worn in the shoe, a lightweight cuff that fits just below the knee, and a wireless control unit. Building on the success of the Ness L300, Bioness also offers the Ness L300 Plus, which includes stimulation of the thigh muscles. The Ness L300 is able to provide an electrical stimulation to the nerve and muscle at the key period during walking to raise the foot and allow a much more natural movement. The difference in Les's mobility without the device compared to how he walks with the L300 is evident. The device has also allowed Stephen to return to an active lifestyle, including competing in triathlons. Overall, it gives me this sense of freedom. And it actually gives me more freedom to do every little things. For, for example, going to the store. Going to, going to the farmer's market, getting a glass of water. Les says he's benefited most from the reassurance the Ness L300 provides. After the stroke, I lack the confidence it takes for the usual person to get out there and know they can reach their destination. Um, now I can have the peace of mind to know that the Bioness L300 will get me to where I want to go. Also available from Bioness is the Ness H200, a device to improve hand function in people with mobility issues and paralysis caused by stroke and other central nervous system conditions. This device uses the same functional electrical stimulation as the Ness L300. If you would like to learn more about the Ness L300, Ness L300 Plus, or Ness H200, please visit www.bioness.com.